In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Ken Burns effect in CapCut. This effect adds a dynamic zoom and pan to still images and videos, giving them a cinematic feel. Let's get started. First, open CapCut and create a new project. Import the image you want to apply the Ken Burns effect to. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to create the Ken Burns effect. For the first one, let's create the zoom in and zoom out effect. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Click on the Add Keyframe button in the toolbar to set your keyframe. This will be the starting point of your Ken Burns effect. Now, move the playhead to the end of the clip, then go back to the toolbar and click on the Add Keyframe button again. Increase the scale of the video using the scale slider to have a zoom in effect. Play back your clip to see the Ken Burns effect in action. Now, if you want to have a zoom out effect, just reverse the process. Move the playhead at the end of the clip and bring back the scale to its original size of 100. Then, move the playhead at the beginning and increase the scale to your preferred size. Play back your clip. Now for our second example, let's delete the existing layer and add a new image. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip, go to the toolbar, and click on the Add Keyframe button. Now, increase the scale of the video using the Scale Slider. In the previous screen, hold and drag the video downward until you reach the border of your video. After that, move the playhead to the end of the clip and click on the Add Keyframe button again. Go back to the previous screen and drag the video upward until it reaches the border. Play back your clip. For our last example, let's add our last image. Move the playhead at the end of the clip and click on the Add Keyframe button. Move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip and click on the Add Keyframe button again. Now, increase the scale to your preferred size. Let's use the rotation button to make our Ken Burns effect more dynamic. Adjust the rotation to your liking. Play back your video to see the effect. Once you're satisfied with the effect, click the export button. And that's it. You've successfully created the Ken Burns effect in CapCut. Thanks for watching and happy editing. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Thanks.